you've been talking about um, the kindness, the thing, kindness thing and doing things. And that kind of leads us on a little bit to some of the things that you've been involved with. Uh, initially, we, we, we worked on a book together. We did. And the book, uh, the book is called Caritas et Amor, In the Footsteps of Love. And in that's the beginning simply... of that story, you were in the Merchant Navy and it took oh, you yeah. to a certain country that inspired more recent events. Yes, I went to Africa in the Merchant Navy when I was a boy and uh, went to the Far East. But none of that, none of that triggered my spirituality. It, it triggered the adventurous nature in me. But Africa was always there. And when I was asked by the Society of African Missions to go to Africa and make a documentary for them, I did so. And a miracle occurred. On the last night of our two-week uh, uh, deployment in Africa, we went to the Irish Embassy in Abuja, in the very heart of Nigeria. And the Irish ambassador to the West African nations, a man called Liam Kanif, I was making the, the speech, thanking Liam for his kindness. And I said, I've seen what these men are doing. There are about six SMA fathers around us. I've seen what these men are doing. I'm going back to Ireland to raise money to build schools for them. And Liam, I remember, drained his, his, uh, his goblet of, of brandy in, his, in the dining room of the Abuja embassy. And he, he put it down, he reached his hand out and he said, Rowan, whatever you raise in Ireland, I'll match in Nigeria. Within four months, within six months, our first school in Abuja was built. We had got the money for it, and it's there, and it's, it's, it, the fathers put in, in the school in Abuja, computer points. And they put in, say, 16 computer points. Within a week, they got a phone call from the Swiss embassy. Hello, can, we, we have something here. Is any good to you? We have a number of computers. We have 16 computers. So lots of little things were beginning to fall into place, and uh, the, the work of the message of God was starting to unfold. So I, was, I committed to Africa from back at the time of the Biafran crisis, which is nearly 40 years ago, I'm sure. I can't remember exactly, but uh, committing to that, raising funds for that with Oxfam, trying to make political change, and then the opportunity to be drawn back into Africa 14 years ago. And in doing the small school, in doing the documentary, in meeting Father Donald Cahan, my African hero, a man of Cork, young man, strong man, who's a priest, a doctor, a teacher, uh, all of those, a builder, all of those things together. So we now have St. Mary's uh, educational product, St. Mary's primary school and St. Mary's secondary school. That's the one uh, development uh, in northwestern Nigeria run by Father Donald and his team out there. Uh, with the African people, and it's, uh, it's working well. We put a million and a half in there through the goodness of people, the outreach of people like individuals in our community, uh, people like the Irish League of Credit Unions, uh, International Development Foundation, people like the Credit Union in Uri, which I found a member, uh, people who uh, have gone out, the, the J.P. McManus Foundation, uh, uh, Larry Goodman, pe all kinds of people have helped, you know. Uh, and it's been so very, very good and very worthwhile and good things are happening. And I've suddenly discovered in my life that in all the things I've done and I've, I've eaten in the best restaurants in the world, I've traveled in the best transport in the world, but there is nothing better than happened in Africa, juggling along in the tracks of the bush in an old beaten up Toyota pickup. And my memories of that now, I am now very substantially enriched by my spiritual journey. And the book came out of that, and the book is merely there to, not merely, but it's there to tell the story of uh, an Irish missionary outreach to a part of Africa in the modern world in the 21st century. And that's, what, that's what's happened. The book is hugely successful. I, it was paid for 17,000 pounds it cost me to do. And that's not including my own involvement, but I, I knew it was going to, it was, God paid for the book. People who want the book say, how much will I get? I said, don't worry, 
No, you must, you paid for it. I said, no, I didn't pay for it. God paid for it. Because I didn't have the money. But I took a leap in faith. And suddenly, as a consequence of a letter at Christmas time, 2016, 2016, I think it was, uh, people started giving me money. 1,000 here, 2,000 here, 3,000 here. Personal loan of 4,000 from the credit union in Uri. Suddenly I had the money for the book. And it, the, the history is safe and it's there. And if I may say, the book is available uh, because it's, it's, uh, there's nothing in it for me. Uh, it's for the project. The book is available in Veritas in Uri and in Elysium, the, uh, the well-being shop beside the Creek Canal Court in Uri on the quay. So it's all going the right way. We have more on the way, so please subscribe to this channel and check out the link below if you'd consider becoming a patron to help us keep making more content. Thanks for watching. Thank you.